just 18 short months after the record of decision to bring the F-35 to Eielson Air Force Base, the first one has arrived. While this particular F-35 is not assigned to Eielson, nor is it fully operational, this aircraft will be doing extensive testing to ensure its capabilities in the Arctic environment. No one's done icy runway testing for any F-35, so that's what we're here for right now. We showed up uh, last week and we will be here testing the F-35 to see how it performs when the runway is icy. And I will tell you, the F-35 has uh, not always been a smooth road. I think we can all agree there's been some roadblocks, there's been some challenges, it's been in the news as having problems, and guess what? That's kind of expected. We are testing the F-35, and I'll tell you right now, the F-35 is extremely capable. America and our world needs this airframe, right? It is like nothing before it, and because there's gonna be 4,000 platforms, and it's integrated with 14 partner nations and the services, uh, we need this to work, and I'm telling you right now, it is working. It is a very capable airframe, and I'm excited to, to see basically the future of F-35 operations here in Alaska. The first of 54 F-35s to be assigned to Eielson will arrive in 2020, making Alaska one of the most strategic places in the entire world. We in Alaska here are very familiar with our geography of Alaska. And with the tanker support that we have, we can go pretty much anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere in about nine hours. And when we have the full complement of the F-35 here in Alaska, as was mentioned, we'll have more than 100 fifth generation aircraft here in Alaska. If anybody in the world um, is thinking about having a conflict with us, they have to put that into their calculus because we can take off from here and in eight or nine hours, we can have both of these aircraft um, in a formation over their country. Senior Airman Josh Weaver, Eielson Air Force Base, Alaska.